something I found fascinating was that when I spoke with Robin. Hit him, hit him with the damn fascinating. <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> I asked Robin, the head of the psychedelics <laughs> research group at Imperial College London. I'm like, so what's your experience with psychedelics? Right. Assuming yeah. she do she's done it. He. He, he sorry. Robin. Robin. Robin, hey. Robin, like Batman and Robin. Right. He goes, well, I don't talk about that. I was like, what? It's what? like, dude. What? And he's like, well, yeah. you know, my, my grandmother might see this. That's such a cop out. And I'm, I'm saying that is, that is, I was going to say fascinating. I'm like, that is. <laughs> you see, it's fucked up. Yeah. It's, fat, it's like drugs. It's the F word. I've, I've got um, all the stigma like, around that. What a great example of that yeah. stigma. That it's, your job is to research psychedelics and you can't say a, that you've ever yeah. experienced them. What other scientist does that? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I study gorillas. Oh, have you ever seen any? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I would never look at a gorilla. Right. I, I talk to people who have looked at them. Yeah. Or an, imagine an astronomer who's like, yeah, I've, I've been studying the stars and the motions of the planets. I've never looked up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't judge me. I don't look yeah. up. I it's... talk to others who have. And until we break that barrier, I think we're really missing out on a big part of the human mind. It's a, such mm -hmm. a beautiful paradox, I think, of, of this guy. I love it. Even on a personal level, he's like, no, no, no. 